Gargle with whiskey every morning. It'll cure what ails you. It's hard to gargle and laugh. When you gargle, mm -hmm. you spit or swallow. Spit. What do you mean, with water? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Alex Vershkov gave us this bottle of 20-year-old Deanston. Damn, Alex Vershkov! What? Alex Vershkov, you may give us a bastard! All right. Year old. Have I had? No, you've not. I've not had 20. It does not exist in this vault. No. This is the first time I've ever tried it. Let me be. As far as you know, that's not why there's whiskey missing from this bottle. Let me be very clear. I've had some Deanston. Mm -hmm. I've had many a Deanston. I like it. I enjoy like Deanston. I think Deanston uh, is an underrated distillery. I agree. Uh, I'm very excited about the 20 year. Me too. I only have one small concern going in. Okay. Because I know the younger Deanstons. Oh, whoa. Uh, hold on, don't say anything. <laughs> okay. I know the younger Deanstons were lovely. Mm -hmm. And I also know whiskey, it is possible to overage. Mm -hmm. Now, based on your reaction. Well, it's also a sherry cask, Deanston. Okay. 20 year old sherry cask. Wait. Pick up that nose, get, get a little aggression in there, and take a deep whiff. You ready? It's too early in the morning. Oh. For me to be. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. It's like being punched in the nose by a fairy princess. Yeah, it's a, it is a sherry Whoa. bomb. I mean, to the point of where it almost Just, uh, smells. Um, what's the it's um like poof of sugar and flowers and a hint of sulfur what like when you light a match in a room oh, that was and you get that flash of sulfur that was me. you see what I mean I farted no you see what I mean there's a hint of sulfur oh my that. god there's like a, a little... freshly struck match where else oh I know it's Highland Park I occasionally get sulfur sulfur on that one from Highland Park well, once again, you've got a slightly, slightly peated malt, heavy sherry influence. Okay, yeah, dude, that sulfur is for real. Yeah. Uh, immediately, it's the aggressive, um, su uh, sweet honeyed flowers that go bop, but right underneath that is a prominent sulfur note. And I also get like one of those dense liquidy cakes, a like, dense, like a liquidy. rum cake. Oh, oh. Okay. Yeah. Whenever you're smelling something in Meiji Cough. <coughs> I mean Man, I'm I'm, I'm uh, really looking forward to this. Yeah. Let's see. Oh well, the nose is super interesting. No, not rum cake. Uh it's No rum cake is something. It's that, almond pound cake. No, they put like they put pour rum over a rum cake. Yeah, they do. Yeah. My yeah, my grandma used to make a rum cake. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's so interesting. Whoa. Ooh, that's not at all like I thought it was going to taste. That's so... Well, the first three seconds are. The and then first, it immediately goes into coffee. The first three seconds, and it immediately just swells up, rounds off, and just expands everywhere, just coats everything. Yeah, heavy oil. Full, full volume, but not aggressive. It's You know what it is? Daniel. It's voluptuous. 55.5% alcohol. Voluptuous. It's voluptuous. Yeah. It's like Jessica Rabbit. This thing is throwing around the curves. Don't hate me. I was just drawn this way. 20 years old. <laughs> How much creepier do you want? Do you think we can get pretty creepy? Yeah? yeah? Yeah. As in like we were old enough to drink before this thing was created. Damn, dude. Or I was. Well, hold, hold on. I'm 38, so... Man. You're not. No, no. You were, you were graduated. You just graduated high school when they put this into a barrel. All right. Yeah. There's a piece of this mm -hmm. that reminds me, forget the sweetness, the... I need a little more of this. The Black Art 1991, that Gene yeah. of Tuliev. Less, yes, less peak, but yes, I get the direction you're headed with that. Yeah. And that really big, slightly medicinal, briny uh, yeah, it, sherry. Here's the thing. It's, it's big, not in its aggressiveness. Mm -hmm. It's big in its complexity. Yeah, it just... Yeah. Rolls and unfurls. Wow, that is super nice. I'm gonna add a dash of water to this new, do you wanna do that? I don't know, man, I am really digging Let's this. Let's leave yours alone, so. All right, Spencer Lee. I'll take the leap. You have helped me develop a passion, and so far I'd say a pretty good understanding of the love behind the fine beverages, such as the ones you're standing near. Come at me, YouTube bot, I know how. <laughs> 
I know how you type clean. I know how to type clean comments. Oh, <laughs> yeah. All right. You never once said whiskey. <laughs> but yeah, I just have to say thank you. I recently obtained employment in a fine spirit and miscellaneous beverage. Miscellane? How do you pronounce miscellaneous? Mis no, but that's not miscellaneous. Probably meant miscellaneous. He meant miscellaneous. <laughs> he meant mis but now I'm really you're gonna give him for that now. No, no, now I'm curious. Is miscellaneous a word? No, it, it could totally be a word. It should. It should be a word. Miscellaneous. What's the name of whiskey? Miscellaneous. You know, you know, That's the one where we just grab everything that we have left from the barrels and put it into one mis tank. Miscellaneous are a first cousin to fiddly bits. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fiddly bits and miscellaneous. Miscellaneous are sort of like tree fairies what? versus the generic fairies. No, no. Miscellaneous. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not good at all. <laughs> fiddly bits and miscellaneous. <laughs> That will have to be a blended whiskey that we create at some uh, point. So he works uh, in a fine spirit and other miscellaneous beverage retail store. And this channel has helped me tremendously in helping find and helping people find gifts for the holidays. Yes, oh, well done you. Uh, yeah, Using your you. powers for good. <laughs> yes. The powers of miscellaneous. When those run out, I have the fiddly bits. That's right. On hand. Welderman 1994, 18 years ago, I was starting first grade. So what happened was, I was drinking a, a whiskey and I said, what were you doing, you know, X amount of years ago when this whiskey got put into a barrel? Right. Just think about, that's how long this thing's been waiting for you. And there was a good dozen comments going, I was shitting my pants because I was nine months old. <laughs> I was sitting in kindergarten. And then all these comments, I'm like, oh, that's right. <laughs> You're so old. So many of our viewers are not my age. <laughs> You're so old. Uh, <laughs> Mark Veranda, Veranda, I don't mind young whiskey, but I would prefer, it would definitely be cooler if the age was stated. Yeah. Just for knowledge sake, a lower age statement shouldn't imply lower quality. I wish all whiskey producers were as transparent as compass box. This should have been a compass box comment. Yeah, but I, no, it was, that, that was supposed to be on top and you shuffled. I didn't shuffle. He didn't do it, I did. <laughs> you totally shuffled things around. You shuffled. <laughs> no, so my only frustration with uh, I get like so for example Lafroy Lore, yeah. it's got some uh, close to twenty year old whiskeys right. in it, but it also has some four or five year olds. Right. Legally, they would be required to put four years old on the bottle if they put an age statement. Sure. And I think that's misleading too because yeah. there's some twenty year old. So I get the no age statement thing. I but I but I, but blah, 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 blah. I also think that they should do what Compass Boxes, which is if you go to their website, yeah, they simply tell you everything that's in it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And and I get why you can't do it on the bottle. Sure. That's law. And, and um, you know, the rule about the the youngest whiskey is basically the whiskey that has the age statement. Right. I, I get it, man. I get it why Lafroy wouldn't want to put the what did you say, four years or mm -hmm. something? It's like, yeah. People are going to see the number and immediately discount what that whiskey has. Oh, to offer. it's a young budget Lafroy. Yeah. Why are they charging hundred dollars for a four right. year old whiskey? Right. So I it's get like, why well, I get why they're not putting the number on there, but I also absolutely agree, at least make that information findable, because that's right. A lot of people are interested in that. Yeah, and if it's not in the bottle, you don't worry about the majority of people who buy it just think it's cool Lafroy. But there's a small percentage who want to know things. Yeah. There should be information for the people who want to go looking for it. Nerds! What so Sorry. try this one. This is mine where I added a little bit of water to it. <laughs> just a cough. There. Yeah, you're still recovering from the Christina's Revolve <laughs> moment. I need a lie down, a cold rag. Mm -hmm. I bastarded. I think it's funny that you said I need a lie down. Yeah. Like a lie down is an action, yeah. not the <laughs> verb. You've never had a lie down? A lie down. It may, ooh. It made it peatier, a little spicier. Just right on the front, a mm -hmm. little bit, a little bouncy. Gave you a little more of the barrel bitter spice. Damn. That is a. This is. That is an amazing whiskey. Here's the thing. I hate to give it to a really an older Deanston, but when it comes to age range, yeah. this is the first. Okay, so we had yeah. a 33-year-old or 32-year-old. Uh, it's over there. What does it say? 30, it's a 32-year-old Lefroy. Yeah. In here. Yeah, yeah. It did not compete with Lore. It, it didn't even compete with some of the other Lefroy statements that I like way better than that 32-year-old. Right. The age just made it too whatever, yeah. right? But this is one where I love Deanston 12, yeah. but this, this is a different animal, and this may be my favorite Deanston. You know what? And, and maybe I'm thinking of the wrong whiskey, but I think there's Deanston 12. Is there a Deanston 18? Yeah. 
I th this is what I think I remember. We'll go ahead and pour it just to make sure. But I don't think it's a it's heavy on the sherry cask. Oh, it's not heavy on the sherry cask. What I remember is I've had the twelve. I've had the eighteen. I remember liking the twelve a little bit better. Yeah, me too. Now, me too. A Deanston twenty in a sherry cask. Mmm. This is uh, this is by far the best Deanston I've had, but. Do we know what a? I can't get to it. Do we know what the price point is? Ah. Do we know what a price point is on a? Uh, this is bourbon cask finish, not sherry. It's okay. So we'll try it anyways. We'll just we'll just make sure. I would look it up on my phone. My phone's down in my office. Happy Christmas. You know, if you're watching this, it's Christmas Day. Merry Christmas. And what you're, what you're trying to do is avoid hanging out with family members. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> Find some whiskey. Whole different ball game, dude. Whole different ball game. Yeah, it's a different thing. No, the, the 18's okay. The I, Deanston 20. Yeah. Son of a bitch, that's a magical experience. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's, I wish, since they already have 18 years invested in this, it's, oh, if only they would have put those 18 years towards this sherry cask finish yeah. and then added two more. So remember we talked about um, in the Saturday episode last week about finishings? Mm -hmm. And uh, and how you've it's like a chef you got to choose your finishing options based on the whiskey you're producing that goes into it It's like an entirely different whiskey. Yeah, it is. It's well, not even correct. Bourbon it's, it's, it's not even recognizable Wow It's still yeah. it's, it's still that's nice. more Deanston. That's actually closer to the Deanston 12. It's got apple. It's got mm -hmm. some oak It's it's I mean you can absolutely sense the uh, bourbon barrel Come with this sherry cask. So remember, I said you got to choose your finishing options based on the whiskey you're putting into it. Yeah, like, like a chef. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it turns out yeah. that the Deanston base spirit does unbelievably well with sherry cask. Yeah, something about it. I agree. Brings out the best of a sherry I cask. I agree. I would be curious to know what a younger version of this would be like because at twenty, yeah, at I twenty, agree. it's phenomenal. But a lot of times it needs to reach this crit this critical so we have this mass one of, of age. Do you want to try it? Because this is not sherry, but it might be the closest we're going to get with a younger one. Well, it is Christmas, Daniel. It is Christmas. So here's the thing. I found this on a shelf. Wait, which one is this one? The bourbon? Yeah. Okay. So I would. I, I, I found this on a shelf. I need to up my mooch level. You just grabbed that. I don't even have a chance. I was helping. I don't even have a chance. I was helping. Let me help. your, your, your beanie is starting to look more and more like, where's Waldo? Yeah? Yeah. Oh. Okay. I, need to, <gasps> I can bring back the striped shirt. Yeah. Okay, so, wait, wait, wait. Here's the clarity. Yeah. So, this was a Deanston, uh, nine years old. Okay. Uh, Bordeaux red wine cask matured. Okay. Right? So, we're headed the direction of sherry. Even if it's not actually sherry. So, sherry is fortified wine. Yeah. Is it a kind of grape? Or is it just any wine that has been fortified with fortification? No, there's grapes involved. Specific grapes involved. Specific grapes yeah. involved. Okay. So, we don't know what red... What, I mean, we know it's a Bordeaux, but we don't know... You can tell it's it's more red than the other Deanston. But still, if, if well, our theory holds correct... Well, you put it down there and it didn't look yeah. quite so much. If our theory holds correct, then a Deanston pairs well with wine, red wine finishes. Or wine cask finishing in general. Now, the 12 is what I use for a really brilliant Highland uh, sampling whiskey in my tour of Scotland. It's really good. Yeah. So, well, here's what we've learned. My favorite sherry cask whiskeys are Avalor and Glendronic. Okay. This is totally fighting for the crown. Oh. Right? Deanston yeah. and Sherry. The 20 is absolutely competing with Glendronic and with Abelor. I agree. It's amazing. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. And if you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw on a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, drop a question or comment down below.